this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a good time. Full like, disclosure of having a beer already a little early, but yeah. it's after work Friday beer, you know, a little e cig puff too. Lemon frosted cupcakes, delicious. Hey guys, welcome back to our second episode of Minnesota Taste Buds, and we're going to be doing a brew or poo episode again. Brew, got the poo. And we got our trophy in officially this time. We got our trophy. They came through. Um, we noticed something. We're going to have to do Minnesota beers again, because Minnesota has a bunch of different breweries and a lot of different flavors, so... We figured, why not just do another Minnesota beer? Another Minnesota beer, so this would be Minnesota beers number two. Yeah, and we have a little special guest beer today. Hopefully it gets some redemption for last episode, because the bent paddle was bad. But this one, maybe it'll give it a little bit of redemption. Maybe it'll be just as bad or worse, who knows. But we're going to get going, we're going to get started here. And we also only did four because last time we had six, and that last our video was an hour long. And yeah, we, we noticed. gotta shorten it up, and yeah, we're we're working on things. So yeah. Just... Oh, and we have something we're gonna be trying out too. We're gonna be doing a, a mug review. It's gonna be five mugs being the best, zero mugs obviously being the worst for our own personal reviews on these beers. <coughs> All right, yeah. And we'll have our maybe we'll see if we can get our name right here, and underneath we'll have. Um, on the mugs, which would be kind of cool. So we're going to try it out, and we'll be back in just a short moment with the very first beer that we're going to taste tonight. All right, yeah. See you in a minute. First beer we're going to be trying tonight is from Roundhouse Brewery right here in Brainerd, Minnesota, called Boom Lake Lager, 5% alcohol by volume, 22 IBUs. So we're going to give her a shot. I can't forget the shout out too to our number one fan <laughs> Wayne, Wayne Ward. Ward. Yep, uh, came up to us at work and said, "I'm your number one fan." So Wayne, if you're watching, this one's for you, bud. <laughs> All right, um, the can's pretty cool. It's just brown. It says Boom Lake was the site of the Brainerd Brewing Company, established in 1881. A bunch of other words. It says it's light body brew with a mild malt flavor and aroma. So we're gonna give her a shot. kind of light I guess it's supposed to be a lager so it's not too bad it's like it's got mm -hmm. some good carbonation got a little bit of head too yeah it's a little hazy not too bad you guys can see it little golden hair will come up and give me a little shot while he's pouring and this is a uh, yeah 5.3 ABV 22 IBU so it'll be a little a little sour you know what this reminds me of hmm. that bent panel it kind of does. It's it, it's okay. It's skunky. It reminds me of that Ben panel. Yep, it's a little skunky. A little bitter. It's not horrible. No, it's not as bad. It, I'd oh. say it's a middle of the road beer. It see like it looks to me like there's a little bit of sediment floating around. Oh yeah, there is some stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad, but reminds me of the bent paddle. Yeah, just not as bitter. It's it's close. Nope, it's not as bitter. It's not as sour either, but there's a little bit of sour in there. Yeah, definitely. It's almost like that bent paddle if you were to just water it down. Yep, watered down bent paddle. Well, the Pilsner. Pilsner. Lager. Pilsner lager. Definitely. All right. Well, that's our first beer. We're going to come back with another one for you guys here in a second after I get this down somehow uh, full disclosure I had a beer already I couldn't help it it was a grain belt how do you say no to grain belt it's my favorite beer well then I'll probably just take this and yeah you can go ahead and you can, it. yeah you just hold on to that one I'm gonna give this one two out of five mugs I'm gonna do three three middle, out of five middle of the road middle of the road yep two, two out of five for me 
or 2.5, 3. It's not bad. It's easy to drink. Yeah, you could drink this. I mean, it would be good with some, I don't know, maybe like a burger, french fries. Yeah. <laughs> Grilled cheese. I had to throw it in there. Sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help it. All right. Well, we'll be back in a few with the next beer. All right. The second beer we're bringing to you guys is from the Lakes and Legends Brewing Company out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's called the St. Gale, I believe it says. It's a honey or raspberry honey ale. Hmm. Raspberry honey. Now, I've Whoa. had the, kind of, I had a honey, uh, I've had a honey kind of beer. The one from Jack Pine that's okay. got honey in it. It's a really cool design on the can. I really like yeah, that design. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got, like, a honeycomb on it. You can't really see from back there. But it's got a honeycomb. It looks like a, a crow and some antlers. The thing I noticed was the, the ABV. Wow, it's 7.2% 7. 7. alcohol so, by volume. Uh, we probably just need a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we don't there. need too much on this one. It says, it's true that pink tart and bubbly St. Gale is brewed with honey and berries. It is not true that it will take off your dirty hiking boots and set up your tent for you. Darn internet. Well, it's engaging, so. Well, anyway, here we go. With further ado. We'll see how this is. It doesn't seem like it would be bad. Ooh, that's this got, got a color, color to it. it. Kind of reminds me of that blue a little bit, but I feel like this is going to have more of a beer taste. That's really no. hazy. This is strong, too, so I don't think I've ever had something that was this strong. Well, look how hazy that is. I'm going to show this to you guys real quick. Is it hazy? Yeah, it's it's kind of hazy. Here, I'll even wipe away the condensation. It is, but it's, it's, a little hazy. it's a clear hazy. This reminds me of my well, that's beer. A, that's an oxymoron for you English majors out there. <laughs> clear hazy. I puke? Yeah. I mean vomit? I mean, yeah. All right. Ooh, that's good. It's not bad. That is actually really good. Yeah, kind of tarty. Initially, you get it. It's like really sweet, and then you get that tart. And then you get a little bit of like kind of where you can tell it's still a beer. It's not super sweet to me. It's got a little hint of sweetness to it, but it really kind of, to me, it kind of tastes like grapefruit juice, just a hint of grapefruit juice flavor. But there's a lot, there's that beer flavor in but there, yeah, but grapefruit that I didn't juice get out beer. of that, like, blue, that Green Belt Blue or whatever, yeah. where that was just juice, like, this is kind of what, like, the Green Belt, if the Green Belt Blue was like this, I would have been be, like, yes. hell yeah. Yeah. Because I'm getting a little bit of sweet, a little bit of that tartiness, and, like, the fruity flavor, and then I get a little bit of beer flavor, too. I just can't get over the color of it. It's It's really cool. I don't know. I mean... Yeah, it's not like... It's a clear, foggy... This is a classy beer. I'd describe this as a classy beer. Mm. They have the... Yeah, if you take a big drink of it, you get that sweetness. They have the lo they have the longitude and latitude on the can. Wow. And then west. Where, so where it's at? 44.969072 north to negative 93.280085 west. Negative 93, the average average temperature of our winters in Minnesota. <laughs> On the beer mug scale, I'm going to give this one a three. Uh, no, you know what? We're going to go with a four. I'm going to say this is a four on the beer mug scale. For being that high of alcohol by volume, it's actually very smooth and it's good. I, I like it. I definitely like it. I would I'd buy some of this. Yeah, I would do like a 4.5. This would be great for a barbecue. A beer for a barbecue. This would be great for that. I don't want to give a 5, although I don't really ever want to give anything 5. Because <laughs> things can always be better. So you, you got to leave room. Yeah. but That's why I that's said what, 4. That's why I said 4.5. 4.5? So do you know how to... We're going to do a little half a mug on there? On the 4 or 5? We're, we'll figure it out. I Maybe guess. I'll just put the number up. Or just put the number up out of the mug scales. We're going to try it. We're going to do something. We're going to figure it out. All but, right. Next yeah, beer. Huh? We're going to come back to you guys in a few minutes with the next beer. But once again, this is the St. Gale Raspberry Honey Ale. 7.2% alcohol. You want to show them that, that honey stuff? Yeah, I'm going to show you guys the honeycomb here real quick. Check out the honeycomb on the can. Uh, get, oh, yeah. Here we go. Black, Bent Paddle Brewing Company. It's redemption time, folks. Redemption. Black ale out of Duluth, Minnesota. It's 
pretty cool can. Now I like I like porters, I like stouts, so I'm excited for this. I have, I'm hoping this is good. I've never had a black ale, so this is kind of interesting. Maybe for me. it's like your secret calling. Maybe it could be, or it could be where I spit it back in the glass. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I um, really like porters and stouts, so. But last time we had bent paddle, it didn't go so well. This time, hopefully, it goes a lot better. And that was a pilsner lager, though. Yeah. This is a black ale, so. Wow, this today we're doing something a little bit different, and it seems to be we're getting a little bit more higher alcohol content. <laughs> And these beers, because this one's 6% alcohol. 6%? Wow. 6% alcohol I by volume. 6%. So, here we go. All right. I'm ready to see the color. Ooh, the foam is dark. It's very dark. Oh, should be black almost. It looks like root beer or Coca-Cola. I'm excited for this. Ooh, okay. This is definitely this, a pour. All right. All right, here we go. That is... That's not good. Oh, it tastes like cigarette ashes. It's not bad, no. It's like coffee. It's like a strong black coffee. Ben Paddle, what's wrong with you guys? Oh, it tastes like black coffee with beer and cigarette ashes. Oh, this is not... Oh, dude. See, I'm... now you say that, I do get the maybe the little ashy part, but it's almost like they roasted... Maybe They it's burnt like... the barrel they put it in. They started on fire? What did they do? Or maybe just the whatever grains they used, they oh, weren't roasted hang on a second. the best. Hang on a second. I gotta get I gotta get I gotta get that out of my mouth. It's not horrible. It makes my e cig taste way better. And my e cig tastes good already, but wow. That's not good guys. Sorry, don't buy it. Please don't buy it. Please don't buy it. It's like it's a roasty black coffee beer but there is something weird and I don't know why it could just be this batch too I don't know you know because sometimes it could be the batch it's, so maybe it's really bad because it's almost like they burnt the grains or something I I think it's like yeah it's like you pour beer through a burnt log and drink it. Yeah, I don't and know you what, pour some coffee in. I don't know what in. they had this in, if it was a thing or they did a barrel. Although I would love to do like some barrel beers because those are supposed to be yeah. really good. Like some aged ones and stuff. This is really bad. I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to pick that glass up I, again to finish that. I don't hate it. And I'm, I do really enjoy porters and stuff. But this is, I don't know. It's not bad I in my opinion. But there's something weird. There's something yeah. weird in it. I can't get that flavor out of my mouth, and I'm about to get more in it. Ugh, See, for me, it. it's too coffee like coffee. There is a little, I don't know, is there a chocolate in there? I don't smell, I don't taste chocolate. I, I taste burnt cigarette ashes. That's all I taste. I taste burnt wood. There, I, I don't even really have a beer. There's not even really a beer flavor. Even when I like burp in my throat, I taste bitter burnt flavor. I'm just gonna straight out say this, guys. Going to be smooth, chocolatey, some roasted ale, or what did I say? Burnt. Semi-roasted ale. Burnt. It's burnt. That. This is horrible. God, I can't read the writing on there. That. Who buys this? The islands of Porter and Stout. I don't know. Oh, borders the islands of porter and stout. Oh, so it's kind of supposed to be a mix between a porter and a stout. Hmm. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who buys this. I'm sorry. I don't know why you would buy this. I can see some this. people liking this. I don't hate it, but it's like a two. You're giving the two? I'm giving this a zero, guys. I'd, if I could go negative one, I'd go negative one. This is that bad. This is worse than the Pilsner Lager. I could drink the Pilsner Lager compared to this. This is two for me. I like porters, but this disappoints me. Yeah. For a black ale, this disappoints me. It's not good. Like, you need to have the Sam Adams uh, black lager they have. Yeah. Okay, I'm just sorry, but... Uh, 
I can still taste it. It'll help. It is oh. strong. It's hard for me to get down. Oh. All right. Well. We'll be back with the next one. Hopefully, it's better than this because it's horrible. Yeah. The next one we have is something a little special. It, it reminds me of camping. We're just going to put it at camping. And it should be better than this dark beer. It's got to be better. Anything's better. <laughs> Pilsner Lager, you're delicious compared to this. All right. All right. We're on to the next. The final. time which was called the fence line pale right ale here <clears throat> more jack baxter, pine minnesota baxter minnesota it says bonfire s'more stout offers an upfront marshmallow aroma with hints of milk chocolate and a roasty graham cracker finish your favorite fireside treat in a glass five percent alcohol by volume we don't really need to say much more about it besides it's s'mores and it's a stout so we're gonna give her a shot and I, I really enjoy stouts. And like oatmeal stouts, Guinness is like one of my favorites. You know, I know some people don't like Guinness because it's like the big standard, but oh, I still boy. love Guinness. It's another very, very, very I tart beer. Let's see if I can get it with the head it's supposed to have, really. Got some water in this stuff. We had to wash the glasses off. Yeah, out we from rinsed the, last the glasses one. out from the last one because that was terrible. But I'm going to come up there and show you guys while he's pouring. This is another very... This one, I think, might even be darker than the last one. Okay, I got a little bit of head on It's there. very I dark. I to get some head because you want a little bit of head on a stout. Yeah. You want to have a little bit of foam. Right. I'm just used to... Like I'm used to pour them on the side. I'm going to smell this here. Ooh. Ooh, that smells that like... That smells like s'mores. That smells like s'mores. It smells like chocolate. I can smell the chocolate marshmallow and the graham cracker. That smells that good. That smells really good. It smells delicious. All right, well... All no right. further ado, here we go. It's kind of a little bit strong. It's definitely s'mores. I can taste it. I'm disappointed. I was expecting a little bit sweeter finish. You can taste well, the marshmallow -ness. You can taste the chocolate. It's more of a dark chocolate. You can have a hint of the gram. It's... It's drinkable compared to the last one, for sure. But for a beer, though. For a beer? I, to put s'mores in? Yeah, it's 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 different. And the thing is, I mean, the only way you can do this is with a stout. Yeah. You couldn't do this with any other beer. So that's why you're not going to get, like, a sweet finish, because you never really get a sweet finish out yeah. of a stout. And stouts are more heavier and filling. But I'm still getting that burnt flavor. I'm still getting the burnt flavor. No burnt flavor for me. No, you might have some residual maybe it from could that be last residual. one. And just no, no burnt. It's not bad. I could drink it. I would have like one of these, like if I went to their you know brew house. I'd probably order. It. I wouldn't have more than one of these though, probably. But it's definitely different. It's it's. I'm surprised. It's that, I'm I was I'm surprised that they were able to put s'mores. I'm starting to realize something. I might not be a dark beer guy. I just might not be. Maybe not. But, then again, I'd have to have you try some other porters, which we'll do some episodes on that. I just got I would love you to try some Guinness. Right. We got the glasses for it and everything. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tasting like sour, to me bitter, burnt bitter. But I'm just ta but at the same time, I'm still tasting that marshmallow. I'm still tasting the graham cracker and I'm tasting the chocolate. It's just like a dark chocolate. If, if, he, if to me, it, it tastes like like a, a Dove dark chocolate beer with some marshmallow flavor and a little bit of graham cracker. It's yeah. Almost, you know, like yeah, most I would people, agree. There's that dark dark chocolate. Yeah, you know, like Hershey's dark chocolate. Most people just throw them away or give them to friends or whatever. I think it's most of the time. I'm, I'm, in my, you know, opinion, I, I usually compare your, like, stuff and stuff to, like, Guinness, even though I know that's, like, I don't know. I look at that as, like, a standard in, in stout beers. As I'm drinking more of it, though, it's, not, it's getting better. Yeah, as I'm not drinking as bad. More That's what I'm saying. You could probably have one of these. You'd be like, yeah. It's, I have it's, one. It's different, though, too. If so. a friend offered one, I'd say, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have it. But I'm not going to buy it. And I really like their fence line. I did. I like their fence line. I think but this isn't as good as that. Yeah, Jack Pine. I've, that was a pale I ale. I mean, it all depends on what. Then again, too, the, my favorite one they have is called Hornet's Nest. 
Okay, we're and gonna that try that one, one on here too. I bet you're gonna love. Cause okay. I love that one. You know, and speaking of all these beers and everything we're trying, why don't you guys like send us, you know, some suggestions of beers that you like or you think we would like, or even the ones that we would hate, just to get a reaction out of us to be like, ha ha, you guys drank that. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's one you didn't like, or yeah, your favorite beer. Or your favorite beer. You know, put I mean, it down in the comments. We definitely um, like to see some, you know. Especially if it's from Minnesota, too. Yeah, Minnesota doesn't matter. It could be from anywhere, but it would be nice, you know, for you guys to engage a little bit and say, hey, we like, we like I like this beer. You should try this. Or, you know, I like this beer. You should try this mm -hmm. one. It, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be kind of cool because we're, we're all open for suggestions. Mm -hmm. We're not biased in any way. Um, I might be biased. Well, know, I mean, we have our own kind of. Everyone's yeah. a little biased in there. A little way. bit. But yeah, and then on Facebook as well, too. We can put up polls if you guys want. And we just want to tell you guys, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, if you subscribe, that'd be awesome. You just click the little subscribe thing down here. Just like the page. That'd be, that'd be really cool. We post stuff every week, sometimes every day. We're, we're doing we're really doing this for not just for ourselves because this is just fun for us to do but it's yeah, more it's for fun. it's more for just seeing what other people like and we we would like you know maybe even sometimes we'll have some special guests who knows yeah every uh -huh. once in a while you know special guests yep. it's just more about expanding too and just trying yeah. different kind of beers you know yeah I mean instead of just getting away from the regulars you know or everybody drinks it's mm -hmm. sometimes nice to hear another point of view on different types of beers yep yeah and I've got more into it now that I've started getting into you know home brewing yeah. and uh, brewing my home my own you know beer and stuff so I've you know I've got a lot more information now on like what goes into making a beer. It's pretty simple, but at the yeah. same time, it can be pretty complex. And there's a lot of different factors that go into that. Yeah. So, I mean, I find it super interesting, so I, I love it. I mean, we sit at work all week and talk about new beers and new ideas that we could have. So, if you guys want to give us some, say, some suggestions, we're down for that. Um, we're not just about beer either. If you have like a food place around Minnesota, anywhere, we're down to travel. We're down to have, you know, try new stuff. That's what we're trying to do is expand. And, um, but anyway, with the expansion part, I'm going to give this one a two. This one's a two for me. This is two out of five. In the middle, like three. You're going to give it a three? Three, yeah. Okay, so, three. so far. Well, we'll just figure it out when we bring the other cans out here because we're going to do a, a follow-up of overall review of the four uh, beers we tried today. And we will be back in just a few minutes to give us our final thoughts. We're going to give right. you our final thoughts. All right. Well, here's our final review on the four beers we tried today, which is Jack Pine, Bent Paddle, this St. Gail, and a Boom Lake Roundhouse Brewery right here in Baxter, Brainerd, Baxter, Minnesota. All right. Starting off, I'm going to go with my my least favorite, which is obviously this black ale. It's gross. Sorry, it's gross. That one, I give that one zero. If I could go negative, I would. So that's a zero for me out of five mugs. What is your opinion on this one out of, out of five mugs? I put it in the middle because it's not the worst. I really like porters and stouts, and there is something weird in this one. That is almost like it's burnt. I don't know why, yeah. or maybe it's almost they put maybe they put too many roasted uh, grains into the brew. I'm not sure. Um, it's not that it's too hoppy. I mean, <sighs> speaking of hoppy, out of all of these, none of them were hoppy. No, they weren't really hoppy at all. They were no. not hoppy at all. No, but they're not hoppy beers. So no. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this one I would say right now it's just that batch. I'll Which, give them credit on that. That maybe this is the batch, but something does seem almost burnt, or maybe there's too many roasted grains. It tastes like cigarette ashes to me. Sorry, sorry guys. All right, moving on to our next one, the Boom Lake Lager. I think I believe I gave this one a three. This one to me is in the middle. It's not horrible. I could drink it. It's it's okay. I would I would buy it. But maybe have one or two because it's it's a taller can too. Yeah. So it's it's larger. Is it one pint. Okay. One pint. It's so a it's pounder. A pint. Okay. What would you say out of the Boom Lake? Uh, Boom Lake was good. I gave it a three if I remember. It's very middle line. Drink it regular. 
It's not bad at all. It's good. 5.3, 22 IBU. It's got a little bit of bitterness in there, but you don't it's really notice it. It's not too it's bad. Not That's a good one. If you go, you know, go to the brew house or you want something, you know, just a little different than your normal. Roundhouse. All mm -hmm. right. Not bad. So we're both going to stay right around a three for yep. this one. Yeah. I have to agree right. with you on that. Next one I'm going to I'm gonna go with is the Jack Pine, the Bonfire S'more Stout. I was highly disappointed. Um, it was, it's drinkable. It's To me, it's not good. Very dark. These two are very dark. Not a dark beer guy. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to give this one a two out of five mugs. What do you think, Evan? Um, I don't hate it, actually. It's different. And I think the way that they went about making a s'mores was pretty good. You get the s'mores smell. Okay. It does have a s'mores taste. You get that kind of, you know, graham crackery. And you get the marshmallow in there. The chocolate. And a little bit of the chocolate, yeah. It's dark, though. It's a dark chocolate. It yeah, wouldn't be a milk but chocolate. I don't think it's bad. I put it in the middle. Okay. You know, in the middle. It's it's kind of here with this one. It's okay. pretty Are even. Set next to that one? You know, or, you know, it's it's the same. Okay. No matter what side I'm putting on. Okay. He, he does like the darker beers, so I can understand where you're coming from with liking mm -hmm. those two together. Yeah. Now, last but not least, and my all, my favorite so far, besides the first week, is this St. Gale Raspberry Honey Ale. It's really good. I really do like this one. Um, the color is cool. It's, it's a little hazy. It's good. I give this one a four out of five mugs on our mug scale. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think this is the best one we had today. So, St. Gale. It was kind of what I was looking for in our last episode we did when we did Grain Bell Blue. You know, this that this is what I expected the Grain Bell Blue to be. Kind of have a little bit of that fruity flavor, a little bit of the tartness, and then you get a little bit of that beer flavor. And this is exactly what I expected. So this is like, it's super good. I don't know how many of these I could have. Yeah. But if I'm just going to go on taste alone, like, because I think that's how I'm going to kind of do them maybe from now on is, like, if I was just to have one, you know, yeah. and pick out of the one because that's what we did, yep. this would be the one. So I would put this up here. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. We have made our decision. <laughs> Tonight's winner, actually anonymous or whatever the word is, <laughs> Oh, it's not what is it? It's not anonymous. What is that word? Um, it's kind of like UFC fights. Unanimous. There it is. Unanimous, unanimous Simil decision. <laughs> yeah, unanimous decision for our golden brew. This brew is not poo award. Goes to the Saint Gale out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. The raspberry honey is really good. I would suggest going out and trying some. I really would. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Got our middle, my middle runners right here. And now for our brew, our poo brew for the night, out of this review, we're both, I think, on the same page with the black ale from yeah. Bent Paddle. It's it's not very good. Too. You didn't really like it. I don't hate it. I gave it a three. It's middle line. Compared to other porters I've had, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, there's something weird in there, like I said. It's that so. burnt flavor. It's ashy. Yeah, I even got that a little bit, and I haven't got that from, like, other, you know, porters and stouts, so. Now, yeah. out of all the beers that we reviewed, and coming upcoming brew, beers and brews that we're going to review, um, we're going to do a, I think we're going to do kind of like a tournament of champions on the best, and we're going to do a tournament of champions on the worst. Um, some of them might move up, some of them might move down, depending on what we try, but that will pretty much end it for tonight's episode on minnesota taste buds for the brew or poo episode two so hopefully you guys will subscribe like and we will see you next time